Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on the ankle. Hey, Ember. The ankle's a little mean. I'm sure some of y'all are wondering from the community post I made, I'm recording this through my TV. So whichever one of you recommended using an HDMI cord, thank you. Okay, you're going to save the continuity of this, I don't know, series, I guess. <laughs> but um, it's going to take me a lot longer. <laughs> just because I'm having to do it on a TV now. Like, the laptop's in front of me, but I can't see the screen at all. I'm going to have to edit, upload everything from my TV screen. And I was working on the Scream video for the other channel, editing that down. It's over an hour long. I'm going to have to edit it on my <laughs> TV screen now. Oh, my God. Uh, I have an older... Uh, laptop that I haven't used in a long time so I just ordered a cable for that hoping praying that it'll work and I can use that laptop if not we'll figure it out but thank you so much guys for tuning on in I truly do appreciate you let me know your thoughts down in the comments like and subscribe become my channel member so enough of my yapping and complaining, I'm sorry. For today's video, we are taking a look at The Surge to Binge, Talking with Amberlynn. Wonderful. Also, I find it a little bit ironic that now we're talking about how badly she wants to binge after the whole monkey incident. Allegedly monkey, you know, broke into every pantry that this family has and ate all the food. Okay. <laughs> and then the second one is called, I won't let fear stand in my way. Eye roll. And then we're doing a third one because the first two are shorter. Uh, the third one is a weighing in with Amberlynn. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thank you so much once again. And thank you to your guys' patience and understanding. Um, I mean, even though we're going to be able to get this out as usual, I think you'll probably notice a difference in the next couple of days or so, um, just until we can get things back up and running properly. But yeah, without any further ado, guys, let's dive right into this, shall we? Also, what the hell's happening here? Is she that sh She's not that short. <laughs> She must be sitting in the bathroom, go figure. All right, here we are. I believe this is relatively same day as the monkey binge. Okay, hello everybody. So hey, Amber. A completely random video. Monkey. Okay, right, it's a- <laughs> God forbid. Talking with Amber Lynn type of video, I guess you can say. <laughs> Eye roll. And why are you out of breath? Like why? Why so tired? Just really quickly, I just want to say, ugh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so Crystal's dad bought my favorite ice cream in the whole entire world, and it's Ben and Jerry's. Oh, good job, James. Is James a feeder himself? Like, he seems real eager about it. In a pint, it is the. Um, well, she probably screamed and yelled, honestly. He's a confused core ice cream. As like a surprise for me because I don't know. I always eat that ice cream. I'm obsessed with it. Um, but lately, why would he just get a surprise for you? Why the hell would he do that? See, I don't trust the narrative that Amberlynn is giving us. So. Maybe I shouldn't fall into the perception of, like, James might low-key be a weirdo. Because <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I think Amber's not telling us the full story. She probably chewed and bitched him out. As you guys know, Crystal and I are trying to be so much more, like, better in our eating. and. <laughs> Yo, it seems like James is actually... <laughs> it seems like he's actually possibly trying to sabotage her which is hilarious to me we're going to the gym every day and just we're watching what we're doing more so like than ever um i just want to like remind myself of this moment so this moment was when i heard that he got it i was like 
oh no my my whole day is gonna be ruined because i don't know if i should eat it or i shouldn't or i don't well why also like why can't you just put it out in the uh freezer in the garage so like it's even further out of sight out of mind like what really really okay you need some willpower, girl. You need to learn about some willpower. Like, I was just all over the place. I didn't know what to do. Um, then a little bit of time went by, and I was like, nah, I'll just wait to eat it. And then all of a sudden, it was like Crystal and I's dinner time just now, and I was eating my food, and I had this, like, monkey, calm down. I had this, like, surge just like go through me it was really scary it was one of my binging like surges girl you need to go speak to a therapist about this all right not the internet um and i was like you know what i'm just gonna eat it and not only am i gonna eat that but i already had other things in my head that i was gonna eat and bruh so she really went off the rails tonight huh devour <laughs> that's pretty much the word for it i was about to devour not only a pint of ice cream but a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch of food so jesus jesus but yeah we're totally supposed to believe that it was monkey that ate all of those snacks i don't know if i buy it girl see there's a part of me that was like rational in the last video being like i don't know I don't know. That seems like a bit much, right? But who knows? Who knows? And someone did bring up an interesting point. Don't let the poop discount uh, Amber from being the culprit. Because if we remember the Amber Heard situation, she pooped in Johnny Depp's bed and blamed it on the dog. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe Amber Lynn took a turd on the freaking living room floor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. I told Crystal, I was like, okay, so this is what I want to do. I'm just like, screw it. You know what? It's one day out of the week. Who cares? I'm going to eat whatever I want. Like, who cares? Like, it was my, it was almost as if Amber Lynn left my body and binging Amberlynn came in my body. It was really scary. Um, this used to happen to me all the time. It hasn't happened to me in like, I don't know, just like a couple of days, you know? Oh. So, it, it hasn't, it used to happen to her all the time. And the last time it happened, it was only a couple days ago. How's that still not all the time? What, Amber? And let me guess, so was a couple days ago when the monkey incident happened? Huh? But it it's still scary whatever happens, just as much as the last time. And um, I know that when this happens, I always give in. I know that I'm going to eat whatever the hell I want, which <laughs> is close to 5,000 calories. Jesus. Easy. Um, you shouldn't say that so proudly, girl. You should be more ashamed of that. This is what, like, I don't know. Like, yes, she does the binge eating in private, but she's so open with sharing it, and she almost seems gleeful to share it. That doesn't read off as, like, a normal eating disorder. I don't know. I don't know. Of course, they manifest differently in different people, but that's just weird to me, right? That she gets a sense of pride from how unhealthy she is so i mean that's always been the case though that's always been the case <laughs> when i told crystal she had a look her, on her face like um no normally she doesn't speak up when it comes to when i'm like so like hardcore like yeah i bet dude because you probably hit her before in that state wanting to eat because if you guys are a binge eater, you kind of know that you you keep, you do it in secret, you keep it in secret. But I tell Crystal everything. I'm with her all the time. So when this happens, she needs to stay away from me or she's going to get it. Okay. See? See? Oh, my God. I didn't know it was this video. I didn't know it was this one. Amber, I swear to God, if you even laid one of your obese fingers on that girl... Which, we know she did. We know she did. 
Amberlynn has admitted that she has hit Crystal. So, good guys, but I'm such an asshole. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But that's vile. That's vile. And this is a repeated action. Okay, it's not just one. It's not just two. It's not just three. It's not even just four. But five relationships where Amberlynn was abusive physically. All right? We can put all the, you know, mind games BS aside. The cold hard fact of it is she's physically abusive. That sounded bad, but I just get really bitchy and stuff. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. Like, physical abuse, never okay. But physical abuse because you can't go and stuff your freaking face. That's got to be the biggest back activity there ever could be. Like if it seems like she's disagreeing that I should like overeat or binge or whatever. So, I bruh. Oh my god. No, this video is actually freaking psychotic. Could you imagine if we had to actually wait a few days to get to this one? Oh, it's so juicy. No, it's just like this whole situation is hard to explain, but she looked at me. Also, I am back in Ver or back in New Jersey. So if y'all can tell like a difference. I know like some people don't like how I talk <laughs> or whatnot in Vermont. I have to be quieter, you guys, you know, so that means closer to the laptop and all that. I try to edit out a lot of like the minor stuff, but you know, I'm doing the best that I can. I've been considering like just going out into the car and recording my videos there, but. <laughs> this time and she's like, no, let's not eat it tonight. Let's, you know, we went to the gym. We have been eating good all day today. And <sighs> I don't know what it is, but normally when she says that to me, that's when she gets it. And I'm like, S I like, I like get mad at her. Like why? And when I say she gets it, I mean like, I just am, I'm like rude to her. Like it's it's not it's not a good look. It's not okay. And uh, yeah, it's more than not a good look. It's not acceptable at all, at all. That's why she really does speak up um about the whole situation. But she did tonight, and I'm just like, oh my god. The minute she said something, like the surge that was like painted on me completely left my body like it was as, uh -huh. as if like it had wings and it flew away and it literally felt like i was carrying a million pounds on my back and then someone just took the backpack from me like i just felt so good and i need to remember a time like this because i felt so much better like just so much better not giving in to that Hold on. Hold on a second. Um. Damn. Um, well. Damn, y'all. I just got really sad. Uh, Sabine, who runs Just My Two Cents, passed away. Damn. Oh, poor girl. Um, well. I give my condolences to her family. Um. That's really unfortunate. One of y'all commented under my community post. I I didn't even, I hadn't even heard that. Oh my gosh. I really enjoyed um, Sabine's channel. Just my two cents. So this is really sad, guys. Um, I don't know. Do we just keep going? I, I don't know. I feel really bad now. Ugh surge and i am freaking 100 million times grateful for crystal for helping me in this moment because i was ready in this moment but you know probably not others to just ruin my whole day and easily gain everything that i've lost in the last couple of days and oh, i just feel so good and i just want to remind myself of this that you'll feel 50 million times better if you do not give in. That's true. That is true. Okay. So she's able to bring up some logic, but... Mm. To the urge 
to binge. Like, I am dead serious. I am really bad. I not only am a binge eater, but I'm a food addict, emotional eater. I have it all. And I said no, because Crystal helped me. I felt like if, I gotta be honest, I'm not 100% strong in this journey yet. We all know this, I make slip ups all the time. But I feel like with her helping me, she's she's making me stronger. And I feel like pretty soon I'm gonna, you know, be able to be strong, you know, without her. Like what happens when, you know, I'm not around her and I'm like, I need to eat everything in the world. I need to, you know, be strong for myself, if that makes sense, without ha having to have her, you know, by my side, which I'm 100% grateful for. And I'm by her side as well. And I'm sure she's just. Yeah, I'm sure she feels oh so supported by you, Amber. This is grateful. It just feels <sighs> so good, you guys. And I had to kind of make this video for myself and for you guys and just know that I did it. I said no. It just feels really good. <sighs> it just feels really good. I'm really, really proud of myself. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to knock this. I'm not, all right, because I understand that feeling, you know? I would like to say that, like, for me, it signified a shift in this change in my relationship with food. Unfortunately, we know that isn't going to be the case with Amber. So, like, that's why overall I just kind of remain critical of her because we know what's to come. But, like, in this moment, I can say like yeah I fully agree with what she's saying you would feel so much better by not giving in my next challenge will be Saturday because Saturday is the day where you know we go to eat we go grocery shopping I oh gosh have done brilliant in the area of eating healthy at restaurants but it's like my body gets that surge and then I don't know what to do and I don't know how to be strong, but I'm going to be strong this week. Okay, well, you you know what would help with that, girl? Therapy. Going to therapy would help you a lot with that. Again, 100%. <laughs> Anyways, I just needed to make this video. Like, I felt like I had to. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Alrighty, well that's that one. Damn, I didn't know we were starting off with such a controversial one. Alrighty, well with that, let's go to I Won't Let Fear Stop Me or whatever. Hello everybody. She really is that short. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, how is that possible? What? Okay, so I'm currently at the gym. That's why my environment looks so different. Um, Why is that so high up? You're currently propped up on some like um, paper towel, paper towel dispenser, and I got you guys all wrapped in oh. cleanliness, just in case. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm currently all wrapped in cleanliness. What? What? She definitely just set her phone there. Like a family bathroom, but they have quite a few of these, so. I was like, why not just use one? So this is so weird. This is so weird. Fan filming inside the bathroom. <sighs> I'm not vlogging today, as you guys can tell. I'm just kind of like, I just wanted to make a video. Just, I feel so good. Um, Imagine someone who's handicapped has to use the bathroom and sh they roll up, roll up. That sounds so rude. <laughs> They come up to the door and they just hear this girl in there waddling around, like sliding her feet on the tile and freaking talking to herself. My God. I know I look like a mess. I just got done working out. I haven't worn makeup in days, so I look like a pale, like ghost, or at least I feel like I'm a pale. I'm looking at the mirror right there and it's looking scary and my hair is just... Not pretty, because that's how you need to look at the gym. <sighs> Girl. I, I'm just, what is this? Just looking in the mirror, and I see so many things that I want to change, and it all involves my weight. And don't get me wrong, 
I'm gonna lose this weight, but I'm gonna have extra skin, so I'm never gonna be perfect. But if. Okay. Why is that even on your list of priorities? Losing weight, but having extra skin feels as good as I feel now, then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna hold on to it forever because. What? What? I have, that made no freaking sense. I have a fear of extra skin, as you all know, and I used to let that fear get in the way of my weight loss, and I feel like in a way I would sabotage myself, but I'm not going to let that happen this time, and... How are you not going to let it happen this time, though, girl? Like, you see, that's the issue. That's the issue, and I don't think it was necessarily just the extra skin. I think... Amber will look for any excuse that she can. Like, it's just the extra skin now, but later it's going to be something else, you know? I know it's weird. I'm in here talking in a bathroom, but I just needed to get this out before, you know, it went away from me. And I just want to let you guys know that... Um, Girl, maybe you should have went for a lap around the parking lot. Um, I'm on track. I'm on track more than I have ever been since... Okay, so... I mean, do the weigh-in. That's the next video. Starting YouTube. Um, don't get me wrong, I used to count calories or eat the right foods or this and that, but I feel like adding exercise into my life has changed me drastically. Today I did um, extra minutes and an extra machine, and I just feel amazing. And okay, okay. And of course, no mention of that pesty uh, asthma, huh? And like, I don't even know how else to describe it, and I just wanted to, like, share this for you guys and let you guys know that it's possible, and if I can do it, you can do it, and, um, yeah, so I just wanted to, like, make this video for myself, too, so I can, like, watch it and stuff, like, in the future, or, yeah, in the future. <laughs> Anyways, um, I better get going. People are probably listening to me, like, what the hell is she even doing right now? But this is what it looks like in here. Hold on, y'all. I gotta figure out this charging situation. There's a shower. Toilet. But yeah, so I'm gonna go. Girl, yeah, someone probably wants to get in there. Oh, um, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bruh. That was awkward. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now the weigh-in. Hello everybody, so welcome to a weigh-in video. I oh, it's called Weighing In with Amberlynn. Oh, it's September something. I can't see the date. Damn. Decided <clears throat> why not do one because I did weigh in today. So let me talk about kind of what I've been doing lately regarding um, how I'm losing weight and stuff like that. Okay, so first things first, I'm a real ass, real ass. Drop it down to the f What? What is this, Amber? Well, I'm feeling it. It's probably not even the lyrics. So, regarding my eating and, um... Oh, boy. Like, what I'm doing, like, involving all that type of... What was that head move? <laughs> ...situation, I am counting calories. So, what I'm doing is... Every morning, I'll wake up and have a lot of protein. I'll have oatmeal, and I'll put protein powder in my oatmeal and stir it all up. Bro, what? Um, and then Why does she have to tell us about the oatmeal every damn time? Every time she tells us all the steps to the oatmeal. Whoa. <laughs> And I'll have half a banana because I don't really care for bananas, but I'm trying to get in that good, good stuff. So, what? I split the banana with Crystal. <laughs> and then later on. See, maybe that could, that could give credence to it was monkey because Amberlynn doesn't like bananas. So why would she go and eat like three bananas? Crystal's mom usually cooks, and I'll just have, um, like a small portion of whatever she makes. I do- I highly doubt it's small. I highly doubt. Also, why all of a sudden is it that Wanda cooks their dinner? That's not how it was originally. 
not count calories during that meal because she does recipes and this and that but she's a very healthy cook she's also you know she's washing watching her health as well so um i just you know i mean it seems like she does a better job than even you do well of course <laughs> do portion control during that time and then we go to the gym so then right after the gym crystal and i eat a protein bar because i don't know if you've ever heard carbs before you work out protein after so we do that what that's probably for very specific people amber maybe not necessarily for weight loss um i don't know though <laughs> so we have this 20g protein bar by cliff it's builders 20g and they're just she has said grams by this point in the big cherry retro reacts crystal era so she knows what a gram is she just says geez <laughs> so delicious and then um after that we have two clementines and um i have a cheese stick with mine and then um later on throughout the day it's like our dinner time so we just you know eat our dinner lately it's been incredible <laughs> and tv dinners like lean cuisine like healthy tv dinners amber eye roll and like oh so she's her dinners so wanda's dinner is their lunch i ah, gotcha gotcha so she can still stay up late doing her snacking veggie nuggets mainly because of the fact that um, we want to slowly get ourselves into, like, not eating as much of those, so. So you're going to slowly wean yourself off of microwavable dinners with microwavable veggie nuggets? Smart. Smart thinking. I, I see your logic, man. <laughs> That's what we've been eating mostly for dinner, but then... Um, we have like a dessert and I have like a skinny cow thing and at the of course end of the day I'm at about 1700 calories. So it's like perfect um, And that's including crystals mom's cooking because I guesstimate that um, The little plate that I take is around 300 to 500 calories. So this has been working for me and um, Yeah, it just feels good to finally be doing something that actually like makes sense <laughs> But um, starting Monday, because Crystal and I are going to go grocery shopping this weekend, we're actually going to not eat as many TV dinners. We're going to start making these bowls. and um, Bowls? Bowls? <laughs> my bowl is going to consist of brown rice, tuna, edamame. Oh, the edamame beans. Salsa and... <laughs> and, um... What else? Maybe a little bit of feta. I know. Bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds so freaking foul. Tuna is not liked by everybody. So, um, Crystal is one of those people. So hers is going to be brown rice, chicken, edamame, salsa, and feta. It's going to be, you know, you got your good carbs from the brown rice. You got your protein from the meat, um, your fats your just all that type of stuff is just <laughs> just all those great two things that i could think of <laughs> perfectly fit into that bowl so it's gonna be a lot healthier than um our linguine tv dinners are healthy she's literally like salivating choice tv dinners um We'll be doing that probably like four or five times out of the um, the week. Yeah, we're just slowly starting to get into a more healthier eating on top of exercising. I don't know if you guys have watched my vlogs lately, but Crystal got her license. Ah, super excited for her. So now we go to the gym. She ain't excited for Crystal. She's excited for herself. Every single night, Monday through Friday. And I have been loving it. Like, mm. How long has this been going on for? Because we've only seen her go to the gym, what, three times now? So we could still be within the first week for all we know. Like, whoever has a gym membership and then finds an excuse not to go, 
it's it's beyond me because I feel like Amber eye roll, eye roll. I'm having the time of my life when I'm at the gym. I freaking love it so much. I have my earphones in. I'm looking around, and all these people, like from old to young to skinny to chunky to fat to you. <laughs> Sorry. Everything. They're just all there and we're all there for the same reason. It feels amazing to be in the same environment with so many people like that. It's super, super like quadruple. She's making it sound like a church experience. Am I wrong? <laughs> like, mm. it just it's just motivating. I have no words for it. So anyways. Okay. Wonder where that motivation went. That's what I've been doing for exercise going to the gym and every day i feel myself getting better like i've only gone four times okay see there it is there it is only gone four times and oh i've just i'm a new person <laughs> four times and that's it but i feel myself getting just so much better at everything i'm doing and i feel better and okay Okay, I'm not going to knock that because that's a thousand percent what would happen. The more she acclimates herself to doing stuff, the better she's going to get at it. Like, duh. <laughs> it's just like a happy place. Like, I never thought I'd be one of those people who, like, enjoy working out. It's like a hobby of mine now. Oh, my God. She's done it four times. It's a hobby. It's actually kind of neat. So, I'm sure you guys remember this board. If you don't, I get... Oh, God. So I can explain it as fast as I can. Amber, come on, dude. <laughs> come on. And I wanted to make this video short, but you guys know I'm long-winded. Um, I have a goal. I know me and my goals, we fail at those. <laughs> um, I want to be at my lowest on December 31st of this year. My lowest was 331. I mean, if she kept this up, she would have been. She would have been, but didn't one of y'all say it's like November, December time when Crystal breaks up with her or maybe January? Ooh. So, um, that is just a big goal of mine. Last time I weighed in for you guys, I was 366.8. So that meant I had to lose 35.8 pounds. So right here it says 366.8 to 331.8. In 121 days on December 31st. She could do so much better than that, honestly. That means I had to lose 35.8. So all the way down here, I just have me losing 0 0.2 increments to get to that goal. Sorry, some of it came off. I'll have to fix that. It's probably her arm rubbing it. To reach um, 331.0, that will have to be crossed off. Okay. Just over here, I have the days counting down. Over here, I have a quote. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. I have another quote right here. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated. This is literally everything that she showed us in the last video. Thank you, Amber. Oh my God. Day in and day out. Honestly, this board is very motivating to me because... I see visually what I need to do to achieve that goal that I want. Normally, I set a goal, keep it up in thin air, and don't really work towards it. But this time I am because I visually see what I have to do to get there. So now that you Okay. I wonder when it's going to stop, though. Like, how long do you guys think? <laughs> it's already been four days. So we're pushing, like, the max for one of her little cycles. I don't know. You see that my last win with you guys was 366.8. Let's do a round of applause, please. Why would I do a round of applause? I meant to say drum or can I get drum roll? Oh my God. The drum. <sighs> clearly, I have no idea what I'm talking about over here. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I weighed in about a week ago, somewhere around there. Again, 366.8. Today I weighed in at 359.8, so that is seven pounds lost. See? See? If she actually, like, really put in the damn effort, which it seems she is moderately, she could really shut off the pounds like crazy. And, oh, we're not hearing anything about those pesky gallstones. Oh, 
what um I know I could have done that without exercise but I feel like I'm exercising for different reasons I'm not exercising to lose weight I am eating right to lose weight I'm eating less to lose weight but I'm exercising to become healthier in my heart um I no longer want to be the girl who gets winded walking up the stairs. I no longer want my heart to be working so hard just to do normal things in life. Um, to create a healthy body and a healthy mind, I need to work on my, you know, little bit of issues up here, which is just because of my past. Um, I need to, you know, kind of heal from those things and just let it go. And not only that, but I need to eat right. I need to um, eat a lot more less than I do on my days where I just don't give up. <laughs> and I need to exercise. And I'm doing those things and I'm becoming a better me every single day. So I'm very proud to say that I'm down seven pounds. So that means to get to my goal, I need to lose only 28 pounds. 0.8 more pounds girl you could do that so freaking easily oh my god i don't even think she's gonna get down to that though i really don't i think i'm very very happy about that um it feels really really good i feel like i can do it um when you say 28.8 pounds like that it sounds a little frightening but yeah yeah you could do that so easily girl if i break it up in small increments then it's 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 not as frightening so my next goal is just to be in the 340s so once i get in the 340s i'll just keep inching my way towards that goal i want to achieve okay thank you guys so much for watching sorry for my messy hair <laughs> i just woke up by the way so i'll see you in my next video weird bye all righty y'all well that's that um, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to edit this now on my TV. <laughs> Good Lord. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, once again, you know, my condolences to Sabine's family. Her daughter did post a GoFundMe link. Um, I will post that in the description so, you know, if you can, you know, help out. I believe it's mainly uh, for her daughter. So, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.